Hey everybody and welcome back. This is Leap A Lot and today we're going to get into some Stardew Valley. This is a game that is pretty close to my heart and actually, you know what? Give me just one second. I'm going to get this knocked out and then I will be right back with you. All right, there we go. So we are going to be Leap A Lot. We live on the beautiful Windsong Farm. And our favorite thing is watching the sunset as it sets over the ocean behind our beach farm. We are going to, yeah, let's do remix bundles, but I do want to try and get it done in year one. That would be nice. I'll do remix mine rewards, although that's bit me before. We don't need any monsters on the farm. I want to relax on this series. Uh, profit margin, that can stay. Probably won't do any multiplayer, though we'll see. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll watch the intro. Sounds good to me. So, yeah, Stardew Valley. Very relaxing, just very chill experience. Start here with our grandfather leaving us something. Of his little spindly legged bed here with no headboard. Sitting in the middle of his one-room cabin, fireplace, a crackling. Picture of, um, is that, is that Evelyn? Kinda looks like Evelyn. Anyway. Grandpa is saying to us is, you know, when you get out there in life, and you're living that corporate grind, there will come a time when it'll make you feel ground down or empty burdens of modern life will become too much. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, because when that happens, Grandpa has something ready for us. A gift. We'll learn more about. I don't think it's going to be the sword, though. I'm pretty sure that's gone. X, X years later. So it's been a little while. So, Joja. Here we are at Joja. Where could this be? Definitely not Amazon or Walmart, right? I mean, look at the working conditions. They're terrible. Not everybody hates it, though. Look at this guy. He's like Heath Ledger's Joker. Licking his lips over here while he's writing script. Anyway. We have our own little cubicle. We have our own little security camera to make sure we're working. We have quiet neighbors like this gentleman in the corner. But even with all of that, it's just not the life we thought we would live when we grew up. Every now and then, we open the drawer and we see that letter from Grandpa. Today we're going to open it. Dear Leap a lot. if you're reading this, then you must be in dire need of a change. Yeah, I think so. Happened to Grandpa too, and he dropped everything and moved to the place where he truly belonged. And closed the deed to that place, Windsong Farm in Stardew Valley. He could start a new life there. This is the most precious gift of all that he could give us. Yes, if Lewis is still alive? What? Say hi to the old guy for me, will you? What kind of stuff were those two doing? Grandpa thinks Lewis might be dead. Hmm. Well, we pack up all of our meager possessions. I believe that comes to exactly 500 gold and not a penny more. And we take the only working bus to Stardew Valley. It's the last bus that we'll see working for quite a while. Off we go. Headed to Pelican Town. Stardew Valley. Start our new life. As we arrive, we hear the hiss, the hydraulics in the bus, and there's someone waiting for us right away. It's Robin. Hello, you must be Leap a lot. I suppose I am. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent her here to fetch us and show us our way to our new home. And he's tidying things up. That's wonderful. Arms right over there. I would love to follow you, Robin. Robin, are you sure this is a farm? Robin, that's sand. This is Windsong Farm. Yes, exactly. That distress is the correct response. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that. Robin, once again, I would just like to- This is sand, Robin. This is sand. That's not soil. A little dedication. I mean, don't... Alright, we'll clean it up, I guess. 
This is our new home. Well, at least we have firewood for the rest of our lives. Lovely little cottage. And who's this? Oh, it's Lewis. Lewis, if you're alive, which I assume you are, Grandpa says hi. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis Mayor of Pelican Town. Everyone's been asking about you. Oh, have they, Lewis? Have they? Not every day someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. Thank you, I am quite a big deal. You're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Yeah. Fair, rustic. Rusty, there it is. Thank you, Robin, that makes me feel so great about leaving my entire life behind to come here and live with you wonderful people. Oh, she's just trying to make me dissatisfied so that I buy one of her house upgrades. Fantastic. How could you even insinuate that, Mayor Lewis? What kind of man of the people are you? Anyway, you should be... Oh, you should get some rest. Yeah, I would love to. Tomorrow, we can explore the town and introduce ourselves. The townspeople will appreciate that. Once again, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. You'll come by during during the night. Okay. Yeah. When do you when do you do that, buddy? That's kind of creepy. I'm gonna scrape the mayonnaise out of the inside of my box to sell it. Okay. Well, here we are. It's our first day on lovely Windsong Farm. We have 15 parsnip seeds, and look at this little cabin. Honestly. I really do like the way that the, the beach farmhouse looks. Check the weather, though I'm sure it's sunny tomorrow. It sure is. Living off the land. Oh yeah, chop wood and search for wild forage while you wait for your first harvest. Let's check our luck. Good humor. That's fantastic. That must mean that everyone here really is excited to see us. Let's change a couple of settings real quick before we get started. I want to have my tool hit locations showing. And then I want my zoom buttons as well. And um, let's see, that'll probably look nice for you guys. So we'll work with that. Oh, I also want to move my tools around. I think everybody is a little particular about the way that they arrange their stuff and I'm no different. So what are we doing here? My goal for this series, if it even becomes a series, is just to relax. Honestly, I want to have some fun. I want to do something that's very low stakes, very relaxing, very Stardew Valley in nature. So we are not going to rush anything. We are going to... Oh, I don't know. Well, we'll certainly do the community center. That's for sure. I'm not going to do a Joja run. That would be just too depressing for me. So we'll do the community center. We have the remixed bundles, so I don't really know what to expect. Not too much changes with those from what I've seen. So you can still have a fair approximate idea of what you're going to need. But some of the strategies that I would normally use won't necessarily work. Normally when I play Stardew Valley, I'm one of those people, uh, like many players, I think, that has like 47 tabs of the Stardew Valley wiki open and like a spreadsheet running with everyone's favorite gifts and stuff. I don't really want this series to devolve into that. I want this to be something that I can do when I just want to kind of get away, but still kind of have some fun and record. So it'll be tough. It'll be tough to kick that kind of habit, but I'll do everything I can to just try and make it more relaxing. Right off the bat here to start with, we just need to get a chest put together because I don't want to carry all this stuff with me everywhere I go. And then we'll head into town and we'll meet our new neighbors. If we're going to be living here for the foreseeable future, then I suppose we should probably start on good terms with everyone. Our little chest there. And yeah, I don't think we'll need to water any crops in the town or break any rocks. Probably don't need my axe, but I'll take it with in case I have some time while I'm waiting to meet people. We've got 500 gold to spend. Gotta get rid of all of that, that's for sure. And up here. Love this game. Made by a solo 
creator, developer, composer, artist. He did everything by himself. A guy named Eric. Goes by Concerned Ape. Ultra talented. Super, super nice guy. Oh, first building that we get into here is the clinic. We'll just run right behind the counter. This is Harvey, the local doctor. Performs regular checkups and medical procedures, and it's rewarding. He hopes that we'll find our own work equally rewarding in time. Thank you, Harvey. That's, that's a fantastic introduction to this town. Here we have Marnie. Ah, oh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch, but only when I feel like it. And Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon, getting some supplies for the saloon from Pierre's. Let's meet Pierre while we're here. Hey, it's Mr. Leapalot, the new farmer. Looking for seeds? My shop is the place to go. Also buy produce from me for a good price and then turn around and sell it to my neighbors and say that it was from me. Pierre is a little slimy dude, that is for sure. Let's go meet his family, I bet he can even- yep, got her. Hello, you must be Leapalot, the new farmer. Yes, that, that is my name. And Abigail, oh that's right, I heard someone new is moving into that old farm. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, I could certainly use a farmhand if you're looking for work. So Abigail and Harvey, who we had met just a moment ago, are both marriage candidates in this game. As is Alex over here. Ooh, a good find in the garbage. Got some cookies. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. All right. Later, dude. Oh, it's my favorite grump. Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people. What new people are you talking about, George? You spit up on yourself? Did somebody forget to give you your bib? Come on, George, you jerk. Oh, and then we have Evelyn. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Not gonna do that, Evelyn. Thank you, though. Why are you here with George? Digging in the trash is a great way to find some early money, some early stuff. Look at all the energy. 90 energy from those. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. What you reading, Penny? You won't tell me, so bye. Over here. And another new face, Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Hmm. If it weren't for those horrendous clothes... Come on, Haley. That's very hurtful. I'm brand new here. Who says that to a person they just met? And hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Sam. That was downright pleasant of you. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. <laughs> Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Vincent, you're gonna get kidnapped. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Why does everyone here hate me so much? Like, I just got here, guys. Jeez. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Wow, that was that was incredibly normal. I really needed that. Thank you so much, Leah. So Leah's little cottage down there. And we got a dandelion. What more could you want in life? Yeah, look at this little girl running towards the tree. Hello. Hi. All right. Nice to meet you. That's Jazz. She lives here at Marnie's ranch with Marnie and with Shane, who we'll meet later. This is where Marnie pretends to do work, but mostly just stares at the microwave. Not a big fan of Marnie sometimes, but she definitely is better than... Well, a couple more people that we'll get to meet very soon. Let's see, what else should we do? Let's stop by... Yeah, let's go to the museum. And then we'll stop by the smith. Now we don't actually need to go to the museum for the first day quest, but I think we should. This is Gunther. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, the previous curator made off with the entire collection. Dang it, Blathers. Hoping to remedy that soon. Yeah, basically I'll go find all the crap for you. You bet. Oh my gosh. It's garbage. It's bananas today. We got a crusty loaf of bread. Or a crusty baguette, rather. 
Oh, it's Clint. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. All right. Hi, Clint. Not the biggest fan of Clint. Actually, let's go north. Anyway, uh, yeah, not the biggest fan of Clint. He's definitely like a, a serial nice guy, if you know what I mean. Goja Mart's got nothing in the trash. That's a bummer. Don't need to meet this person either. Morris. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris. You decide you want to become a Joja member. You know what? I actually was a Joja member. Uh, I was, uh... Yeah, I'm not going to do that again. Hey, kid. Name's Pam. Hi, Pam. Lovely to meet you. Look at this dude up here jamming. That's awesome. Good for him. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Well, you know what, Shane? I don't care, because you never are interested in talking, and that counts as meeting you. Hello. Can I talk to you? No. Okay. All right, nameless cashier. Farewell. Got Abigail again. Let's see, it's 2 p.m. Uh, we're a little bit early to find Elliot. I already saw both of you. I wonder... Oh, there's a flower over here. I'll cut these down. Give myself a little path. Maru over here yet? Not quite. All right, well, we'll go down to the down to the beach, see what we can find down there. Something. And it looks like that might be about it. That's all right. That's a good start. Hello? Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting. Why were you outside my door? Just waiting. The arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in a little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Look at this man. Look at that chiseled jawline, those flowing locks. What a hunk. Too bad he's such a weirdo. I think we're doing pretty well. Um, I think we find you. Perfect. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. Waiting to meet me. That is just so pleasant of you. Thank you so much. Kind of running low on space here, but I wanted to buy some seeds so I could eat these cookies. Delicious. All right, so I'm gonna grab a couple of everything, a couple beans, cauliflower, maybe one kale and three potatoes, and that'll do it for us. Now, we could start heading up to the mountain right away, but we have a little bit of time before I could catch Sebastian anyway, I think. Not actually 100% sure on that. I'm gonna go home and I am gonna plant some of these seeds. And I guess probably put some of my stuff away, too. Do a good start here, I think. So... Yeah, you... Um... Yeah, we'll throw the bread in there. I'm gonna need my watering can. And let's... Actually, you know what? Let's put some beans on the end here. And you... And there we go. Not too bad. Nice little plot of land. And hopefully we won't have any crows come and ravage our crops. One kind of silly thing about the beach farm is that we can go dunk our watering can in the ocean. And our crops will just drink up that tasty salt water. Yeah, that should be good enough. So next... We're just gonna go we're just gonna kind of take the back roads up north here head over the little tunnel and not a lot happening up here little mr. squirrel uh, we do see Linus though always a good sign means winter's over doesn't actually mean that don't mind me I just live out here alone should have brought something to give you Linus I'm sorry to giving him a flower or something. Here's unnamed Joja worker who 
will disappear in a couple of days and we'll never see him again. Nothing over there. Catch these two. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thank you for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. I have. She was lovely. Unlike you. Not a big fan of Demetrius. Let's see, you should be coming out pretty soon here, right? Come on, you vampire. Get out of your bedroom. I guess we'll go cut down a tree while we're waiting. That's the whole reason I brought my axe. He should be out pretty soon, right? 6.30 or so, I think he starts heading up this way. Um... Hmm... Maybe it was seven. Oh, there we go, perfect. Not very often that you see uh, these two so close to each other, Sebastian and Demetrius. Out of all the places we could live, we chose Pelican Town. You're absolutely right, buddy. Look at those two, the best of friends if I've ever seen them. So, I'm gonna run back down here, see if there's anything to grab. Couple flowers, that's nice. Halfway tempted to take one back up to Linus, but I don't think I will. And hey, that's not too bad. So let's dump some stuff off. I have some energy. So I think we'll just work on clearing the farm a little bit. A lot of times I would head down to the forest to try and find some um, spring onions at this point. But I don't think I need to since I found that bread and the cookies on day one. Eight. Yeah, not too bad at all. Okay. Let's work on getting some more wood. Pretty soon here there'll be a place that I can unlock as long as we can get 300 wood, get some early cash flow out of a little area on the beach and that'll be kind of nice. So I don't often play such a relaxed style and I hope that you'll enjoy this style of gameplay. We'll try to make friends with everyone much quicker than I normally would and we won't be focused so much on just power gaming our way to the end game so quickly. That said, we'll still try to be efficient. And like I said, it might be kind of tough for me to take my foot off the gas, if you know what I mean. All right, just about out of energy. You know what? I don't really want to risk that. Yeah, let's grab the bread, eat that. And we'll just clean up a little bit more here if I can actually do it correctly. That'll help. If there's anything specific that you think you'd like to see in this run, or if you have any questions about what I plan to do, or suggestions, or if you just want to say, hey, I love Stardew Valley, feel free to drop a line in the comments below. Really appreciate seeing what people think. I'd be especially interested to hear from you about marriage candidates, who you think we should woo. Right now, I'm probably leaning toward Krobus, actually, as a roommate, just because I've never actually lived with that little critter. And I think I would feel less guilty about leaving him on the farm for a little while if we end up going to kind of a post-game area later in the series. It's one thing to kind of leave your roommate afloat. It's a little bit different, I think, to leave your wife or husband and your children behind while you gallivant around the islands. And I think that should actually take us to the end of the day. Kind of bummed that I just noticed I got some mixed seeds. Wish I would have seen those earlier. I would have planted them somewhere, but that's all right. If you made it all the way here, I'd like to say thanks for checking in. If you want to see some more Stardew Valley, please subscribe. I always appreciate seeing the likes pop up on my videos as well. Gives me the good brain juice. For now, though, I will hope to catch you in the next video.